Hello everyone! This episode will be about Microsoft Page Tuesday for October 2022, including vulnerabilities that were added between September and October Page Tuesdays. As usual, I use my open source Vulristics project to create the report. So all vulnerabilities 105, urgent 2, critical 1, high 29, medium 71, low 2. Let's take a look at the most interesting vulnerabilities. Two vulnerabilities remote code execution in Microsoft Exchange CV 2022 41040. CV 2022 41082. This is the hyped proxy not shell that were disclosed on September 28. The first CV is a server site request forgery SSRF vulnerability. And the second one allows remote code execution RCE when PowerShell is accessible to the attacker. While Microsoft was relatively quick to acknowledge the vulnerabilities and provide mitigation steps, their guidance has continually changed as the recommended rules to block attack traffic get bypassed. There were no patches for more than a month. At the same time, there are public exploits and signs of exploitation in the wild. Let's wait for pages to appear on the Microsoft website on the page for CV 2022-41040 and CV 2022-41082. Elevation of privilege in Windows COM plus event system service CV 2022-41033. This page fixes a bug that Microsoft lists as being used in active attacks. The impact of exploitation is loss of confidentiality, integrity and availability. Microsoft has not disclosed how the vulnerability is being exploited or if it is being exploited in targeted or more widespread attacks. They only say that the attack complexity is low and that it requires no user interaction for the attacker to be able to achieve system privileges. An attacker who successfully exploited this vulnerability could gain system privileges. In this Patch Tuesday there were three vulnerabilities for which the existence of a publicly available exploit was mentioned in the Microsoft CVSS temporal score – Proof of Concept Exploit. VM vendors did not write much about them. But it seems to me that the existence of a non-public POC is an important enough factor to draw attention to these vulnerabilities. Remote code execution in Windows point-to-point -point tunneling protocol CV 2022-38000 Elevation of privilege in Windows graphics component CV 2022-38051 Spoofing in Microsoft Edge CV 2022-41035 Elevation of privilege in Active Directory CV 2022-37976 A malicious DCOM client could force a DCOM server to authenticate to it through the Active Directory Certificate Service ADCS and use the credential to launch a cross-protocol attack. An attacker who successfully exploited this vulnerability could gain domain administrator privileges. Exploitability assessment – exploitation less likely. Elevation of privilege in Azure Arc-enabled Kubernetes Cluster Connect CV 2022 – this vulnerability has CVSS version 3 score of 10, the highest possible rating. An unauthenticated attacker could exploit this vulnerability in order to gain administrative privileges for a Kubernetes cluster. While updates have been released, users that do not have after upgrade enabled must take action to manually upgrade Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes clusters. A remote code execution in Microsoft Office CV 2022-38048. This bug was reported to the ZDI Zero Day Initiative by the researcher known as Hates Kito. 
and represents a rare critical rated office bug. Most office vulnerabilities are rated important since they involve user interaction, typically opening a file. An exception to that is when the preview pane is an attack vector. However, Microsoft states that isn't the case here. Likely the rating results from the lack of warning dialogues when opening a specially crafted file. The link to the full Vulristics report is available in the blog post. And this is it for today. Please subscribe and leave your comments. Bye.